All right, coming up next, the matchup for the UFC Heavyweight Division title. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this, our main event of the evening. More than five years apart, with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Our round for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Hazardous. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet two inches tall, Weighing in at 116 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. The A lot of the UFC's best have gotten that opportunity. Absolutely, J.A. And when you grow up as a fighter, especially a heavyweight, it is your dream to headline MSG and fight for the heavyweight championship of the world. I got that honor, and I can almost feel the ghost of Muhammad Ali, Joe Frazier, all those great fights those guys had at MSG. I felt as if on that night that I retained my championship, I became part of that fraternity, the greatest heavyweight fighters to ever step foot in Madison Square Garden. It was an honor and a pleasure, and it felt amazing to join that fraternity. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Over and over, he landed with big body kicks. Oh, huge block! Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And they clinch. 
Ooh, so now he transitions to the back. So it's human backpack time. We'll see what he can do here in a standing position. He's so good in this position. Watch how patient he is as he attacks and attempts to finish the fight. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Beautiful strike. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Just over three minutes to go now. Getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Ooh, big shot lands. Head kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. He's grabbing the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then landing those beautiful punches. Really got his opponent on notice here. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Let him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. As he gets close, he's out of the kicking range. He'll suddenly he'll change his stance. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Good punch. Oh, a huge block there. A single collar tie. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, oh, he's score. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's got to be over very soon. Can't take many of those. You better check. And he caught the kick. To the head block. Powerful leg kick lands. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, this is with the jet. He's got the turtle in that kick. Chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. 20 seconds left. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, Chad, there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Why well, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take it. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. 
All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? That right hand hurt him a little bit. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Nice counter shot there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been chucked in. Cat and mouse. You got to put cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Nice kick. Pushing forward. Oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent where he A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top control? All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Just out of range with that left hook. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So we got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Good punch, Lance. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on his feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Nice loop and punch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Blocks the shot. Beautiful right hook counter. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. That was looking nice right. Very, very explosive. Oh, nice. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Nice great punch. Oh, you got oh, there, DC. Massive, massive hook lands. And his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He dictated the fight with a jab. Oh, he might and be out. Oh. All right, so that's the end of the round. You know the fighter wants to be given the benefit of the doubt, but he is dealing with a nasty cut on the lip that has only gotten progressively worse as the night has gone on, and the doctor's got to protect the fighter. You know he wants to fight on. The fans don't like doctor stoppages, but if they can't nip this cut in the bud, they're going to have no choice but to stop the fight.
All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, he misses with the left punch there. There's no tell on that leg kick. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Nice punch, Lance. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. That's a big strike right there. Blocks the shot. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. There's no kills on that leg kick. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. And he landed the right hand there. Just over three minutes to go. Punch over the top. Nice body. Kick. Superman punch now. And both guys. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's got to hurt bad. Just misses with the left hook. Takedown defense holds up. And now he's got the tie clinch. Nice defense there. Huge block. Big kick land. They heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. And there comes the separation now. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Big body kick land. Ooh, what a punch. No surprises, he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking. Oh! oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Ring. 
Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Oh! What a round. All right, that's the end of the round. And our cameraman all over that cut on the cheek. That thing is getting wider by the minute and only getting worse. Cut man gonna earn his money tonight. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. If you tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, just misses with the kick. How good is that right hand? Obvious redness on the right side of his body. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good match. Oh, man, straight punch lands. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that land perfect, and that one landed perfect. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. What a punch. range with that one. Beautiful leg kick throw. Man! Ooh, what a punch. Body kick is blocked. That one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It starts to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Beautiful punch. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast and he always... Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that.
Under a minute now to go in the round. Trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Gets up again here, but hurting. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Nice punch there. Lands a glancing right hand up. I don't know how many times get hit in the head and stay in this fight. He has a commitment to kick it tonight and it shows. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. Last round, guys. You ready? You ready? Fifth and final round. Great punch landing with so much power. And that one certainly found the target. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliante has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 29 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by... Over here and still tonight, our UFC heavyweight champion came in with a lot of pressure, a lot of height, and he successfully defends the title here tonight. With all that pressure, he never changes his approach. He always does exactly what he says he's going to do, and he remains the champion 